Hi all. In this video we will try to fix uh, backlight driver on uh, iMac. This one is uh, iMac from uh, 2011. Uh, 2011. Uh, it's a uh, 27 inch and symptoms here is it's working but screen can suddenly turn black or Shortly after booting, screen can reduce brightness by itself without commands from operating system. And if uh, screen turning black, and we will uh, bring flashlight uh, near to screen, uh, we can actually see that uh, there is image. So video card is working, uh, screen itself is working, but the backlight is not working. And my idea is. Uh, Maybe capacitors uh, on backlight uh, driver board is dried and needs to be replaced. It's uh, just uh, my idea. It's uh, I have no proof for this, so I will do this just by guessing. Maybe it will not work, but let's try. Uh, I buy it. It's uh, owned, it, and screen was damaged here. Uh, this crack is uh, from my previous open of, of the screen, so so open screen carefully and if your screen is damaged be prepared uh, be prepared to replace uh, glass be prepared to replace screen glass. So to remove it we will need two suction cups. Uh, it's better to have big ones but the, this one is fine too. You need to put them uh, not high as possible, but uh, close to upper corner of the glass, because here you have a magnets, and these magnets uh, hold uh, glass to uh, body of of the computer. So probably probably it's uh, better to put uh, suction cups on magnet itself so there is a no glue you would just need to apply suction force on the places where magnets is and you will able to remove screen so you just need to pull it and hold uh, hold body of computer My screen is damaged because of this. I not pulling it synchronously, but you should uh, pull both of them at, at the same time with same force to not bend and damage screen. When you will remove it, do not uh, hold it on the suction cups because it can fall and broke. Okay. Before uh, continue, double check that you remove it power cable from the computer because there is uh, there is a part under voltage inside and you can be electrocuted. So uh, next thing is there is a four screws on the each corner of LCD here and here. You don't need to remove something here. This this will not uh, make a screen stuck there. You need a Torx T T10 key and just just remove the screen uh, screws. There is a magnet also and some of screws can fall to magnets. It's okay. In this case you will just need to remove them later. Yeah. 
and one of mine screws followed there. So I have only seven of them, not eight. Okay, now let's remove uh, LCD screen itself. Do this very carefully. On the back side of this LCD matrix, there is a uh, four cables, and if you will just uh, pull it on your side uh, too far, you will damage that cables. So you need really carefully bend it a little. We don't want up, up, up. So just pull it really carefully like this and not 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 too far like only like this because can you can you see here is a first cable it's a vertical sink and a backlight control cable Disconnected first. There is a four cables. There is a first one. Now you can bend it a little more. Now disconnect big light power. Disconnect synchronizing if I understand correctly and display data cable itself pull it first open the lock and then pull it gently now remove the screen really carefully it's heavy and put it somewhere on the really flat surface let's take a look what we have inside of Zayma. This is a power board, power supply. Uh, don't touch anything here, even if you disconnected power cable. There is a charged capacitor, so it can be deadly, it can kill you, even if you disconnected power. Uh, this is an inverter board, inverter backlight, and I think a problem with the backlight uh, caused by uh, dead dried capacitors here. I will show you a little later them. This is a main logic board and some stuff like a wireless, like a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So no special magic here, but it's organized very uh, cleverly. So let's remove inverter board. And remember, don't touch uh, power supply. It will be still under voltage for some time after disconnecting main power. Here is an inverter board. And I think problem caused by these capacitors. There are four of them. And I think they are dried and lose the capacity. So I will try to replace them. A nominal is these two is 63 volts and 102. 112, oh, sorry, 120 microfarads, and this one, 35 volts and 270 microfarads. So, I will change them. I want to try to put something like this, uh, bigger capacitors. I'm not sure if they will work good or not, but I will try. I don't, don't want to change it often, so I want to just make it once and forget about this. Okay, some solder magic is applied. 
here is hold capacitors from here and from here I tried to install bigger ones but I failed it I tried to install it in both places but with uh, bigger ones this board is not fit and I think with bigger ones I will not able to uh, put LCD panel back without problems so I installed, installed small ones uh, this one is uh, 220 microfarads this one is uh, 330 microfarads and previous was 270 microfarads for 35 volts and one just 120 microfarads for 63 volts so now we have bigger ones i hope it will work better it will work longer without without some fixing but it can also it can not turn on because protection in power supply will think that there is a short circuit or protection somewhere here will think that uh, here is a short circuit just because uh, charging current will really high on the first moments uh, let's take a look so install installing oh no 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 the board first So, if you have some problem with black screen or some brightness uh, problems with your iMac, especially if it's just black screen, first try to put some flashlight uh, near to the screen and uh, check if you see some image or not. If you see some image, do not waste your time on uh, resetting SMC or the, trying to do some software changes it's most likely your uh, inverter board or maybe light source in lcd screen itself is failing and here is my attempt to fix it uh, now i will install uh, lcd panel wait a moment This is the uh, most scary part of, of all this procedure because this panel is heavy and I really afraid to, to broke it. Uh, here is a uh, uh, data cable. You need to put it there and then close this uh, lock. Let's try to make it. Okay, it's closed. Now this small one. Is there now connect the light itself to the inverter board? Okay. 
Not really handy to do this with just one hand, but but other option to put our computer horizontally. I don't really like that option. Okay. All connectors in place and LCD panel in place. Now I will try it. If it works or not, maybe I just broke anything. And after that I will uh, after that our video will be stopped. This will be end. Because I want to clean panel a bit before uh, putting it all together. Connect power cable. Again, if you will do this, uh, be sure that power cable is disconnected before opening the case. Let's try it. Oh, at least it's working. So, here I will turn it off. Uh, yes. And do some cleaning. Thank you for watching. Bye.